Sunders Sunders, it's Robo, and we're back with another episode of Robo Reviews. And on this episode of Robo Reviews, we're gonna take a look at this sweet hunk of Canadian bacon. I mean, Canadian nylon, the Peraz Designs low profile slick plate carrier. Check it out. So here it is, the Peraz Designs Low Profile Slick Plate Carrier, the LPSPC. Uh, it's designed specifically to be, like it says in the name, a low profile carrier, whether that be just a carrier for just carrying armor for say range work or say vehicle work, or again, just being an option that you can wear say under a light jacket and it not print as much as a fully loaded carrier. Now that being said, Peraz has thought ahead and actually included some features that allow you to fill it out should you want. So we'll cover all of that uh, in the review here. I'll show you the positives, negatives as per usual. Now I'll also go through uh, how I've made this carrier my own, either through customizations done through Peraz himself uh, or other purchases uh, through Peraz Designs to fill out this carrier to better suit my needs in both milsim, range work, and maybe any future expansion needs I might require. So with that said, let's kind of get to it. So as I would said, this is a low profile design in terms of a plate carrier. While it does have the ability to expand, but at its heart, it is two plate bags, cummerbund, and some shoulder straps for your armor needs. Now the front plate bag features a loop field, a rather large one for any identifiers or cool guy patches that you may need. It also includes two ITW Chasm fast clips, as well as some rolled Velcro for any of your routing needs, uh, such as hydration and comms. Now the cummerbunds are a laser cut hypalon, which keeps the weight down, but still allows you to weave uh, accessory pouches to them. Uh, as well as the shoulder straps are also Hypalon. Now these shoulder pads are one of those extra additions. They are an extra purchase through Peraz Designs. I'll go through all the pricing in a little bit, uh, but they don't come here standard. Generally it's just the low profile Hypalon straps. For me, knowing that I wasn't really looking for low visibility capability really in the end, and I was more worried about range work or maybe using this in a mill sim, so I wanted to save my shoulders just a little bit, so I got the shoulder pads. Those shoulder pads also do have uh, rolled Velcro sections on those as well for all your routing needs. Again, either being comms wires or uh, maybe hydration tubes. Now, the plate pockets themselves feature an airflow mesh on the inside for your comfort. Again, uh, they are very wearable. I've worn these for extended period of times, both on the range and in milsim settings. And the uh, airflow sort of padding does help you out just a little bit. Now, obviously that's found on both sides. And if you get the shoulder saving uh, shoulder pads, it's also featured on the shoulder pads themselves. And in terms of the standard format, that pretty much covers the front plate pocket. It has a pretty standard Velcro opening at the bottom to hold your plates. I've got just some training ones in here right now for Airsoft. Again, it does a fantastic job holding any kind of ceramic poly or say AR500 plate that you would need. No quality issues there. Pick your poison. Um, like I said, my training ones are in there right now just because I don't want to damage real plates in, say, a milsim setting. And at that, I mean, that pretty much covers what is featured on the standard setting of the low profile uh, slick plate carrier in its sort of default form. Now, before I flip over the back, I gotta give you a little caveat to the back. I've had mine customized, so I'll explain what's different and what kind of uh, appears uh, standard when you order just default off the site. So let's show you that right now. First and foremost, there's one thing I gotta point out here that actually is not a part of this plate carrier, and that's these two sections right here. These are actually a part of a uh, tier tactical zip on back panel and I'll show you that in a second when I kind of go over the things I've added to make this mine. Uh, another huge difference is the fact that there is PALS webbing all the way down the back here. That is not standard. I got uh, Peraz to actually do that for me. And the reason for that is because I knew I was gonna use, say, a back panel option like this. One last thing that's different about the back here, and it's not really easy to tell, but it's something I asked Peraz to do specific for me, 
uh, to expand my options in the future. And that is this back flap here actually is a flap. It's a flap that continues up and under uh, the PALS webbing. And the reason for that is uh, I wanted to be able to switch out cummerbunds, uh, but I didn't want it to attach to the back here because I needed the PALS. But obviously because I needed the PALS, I needed somewhere to attach the cummerbund. So he added an extra flap for me. That is just personal choice. I knew what I was getting into. I knew what I was planning. So that is all extra charge. This is custom work, guys. This is not how it comes. When you get this by default, literally it's a slick back. Again, it's a low profile slick plate carrier. And the only thing you get is much like what you get on the front, which is this huge loop field to attach a Velcro cummerbund to. So that's literally what you would get is what you see underneath this flap, which is the Velcro loop section to attach the Velcro uh, cummerbund. So just kind of keep that in mind. In the end of the day, you're not going to get all these pals unless you ask Peraz to put that on you for you. And that's da -da 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 uh, as well as this flap. Again, that is personalized to my use case. And again, da -da 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 uh, so just keep that in mind. When you get it, it's literally a slick carrier. So underneath this flap is literally the same pocket flap that's on the front, uh, which unfolds, holds your armor, and then refolds to hold it in place. No big deal there. If you've worn a plate carrier before, it's pretty standard. You've seen that before. So that covers the plate pockets. One thing of note, again, this is a slick plate carrier. So you're not gonna get any extra features like drag handle and stuff like that. Personally, I don't use drag handles. If I literally need to carry a casualty in a medical situation, some of you guys know I do a little bit of medical stuff. I'm a total medical noob, but I'm learning. I, I underhook arm lock. Uh, so. I don't worry about drag handles anyways, but if you're looking for that extra nylon material up there, you're not gonna find it, but I'm willing to bet you uh, Milan at Peraz Designs would do that for you as some custom work. So again, you don't get that, but keep in mind, he's pretty open to any work you need him to do. So like I said, that covers these plate pockets. I'm gonna cover the uh, actual Hypalon sides here before I show you the additions I've made to this to make it a little bit more uh, full spectrum use, or again, more catered to what I want out of it. These are the Hypalon cummerbunds. Now, I love and hate these. <laughs> and I know that's weird to say, and I'll, I'll tell you why. So I love them because they're lightweight, they're no hassle, they fit nicely against your body. The reason I hate them, and you know, I've talked to other guys who have run these before, you know, of like mindset, and they have the same sort of negative. On paper, or on say a whiteboard, this is an awesome, cool idea for design. Again, it's the laser cut Hypalon. It's very strong, it's very light, it's very malleable. You can weave stuff on it, you can hang some stuff on it. But anybody who's done any, you know, sort of long-term use of Hypalon, uh, in any sort of laser cut fashion, say on a cummerbund. And it's important that it's a cummerbund because a cummerbund doesn't have, say, a rigid backing on it like a plate, okay? There's nothing to support it. So again, you look at something like a Blue Force Gear uh, plate minus or whatever, there's a plate behind all that laser cut Hypalon or whatever, so when you hang stuff on it, it's pretty well supported. But the problem is, uh, and this happens with traditional battle belts or whatever, again, if any of you guys have been around the block in terms of wearing gear, you've come across this, and that is, as soon as you start to weave anything that holds any sort of weight on here, okay, side plate pockets, important. Uh, or again, radio pouches, magazine pouches, GP pouches that you put pretty much anything in. You, what you start to get is some extreme rolling, okay? You, you'll get some sag. And for me, I just hate that. You know, I'm not in a situation uh, where maybe there are bigger considerations to worry about, like bullets coming at me. So I get to be this kind of first world picky about this stuff. But honestly, I mean, on the range, I can't use anything on the sides here. I'm literally wearing this as just an armor carrier. And to me, again, does that limit my choices? Of course it does. Do I really care about it? No, because I own other plate carriers that fulfill that role. So, but if this is gonna be your only plate carrier, you need to know that that's what's gonna kinda happen uh, if you plan to hang anything on here. So just keep that in mind. For me, that's its sort of one failing point is that I can't use this cummerbund for anything but 
uh, securing the front and back plate pockets together. So keep that in mind. So then how did I make this mine? Well, again, going back to the ITW clips here, the, the fast clips or the chasm clips. This is huge. This is a big feature you see in a lot of plate carriers these days. Uh, we're in this sort of uh, era of the modular plate carrier. And I, I think it's great. I mean, honestly, it's like being able to swap parts out in a car, right? Like you mean you buy one car, but you make it your own or you adjust it as your needs change over time. And that's exactly what this sort of feature does. So I sort of thought ahead and I go, well, I know that I'm not just wearing this for say car work or I'm just wearing this for armor. I have a functional use. I got to use it on mill sims or uh, range work or, or training or whatever, right? So I generally need to carry something up here. So what I did was I actually ordered uh, a widely available through Peraz, specifically made for this carrier, uh, a magazine placard. And that mounts just like you would say a Haley D3 rig to uh, the front of other carriers. That's always a, you know, a historically popular option. Now, the one thing that Milan has sort of thought ahead though, is on a D3 rig, most guys complain that on the D3 rig side, there's only like a little square of Velcro. And a lot of guys go in and mod that themselves and enhance that by making it full, full spectrum. So that way you don't get that weird flop on the sides if you're not using say Velocity Systems or Mayflower, same company, uh, Swift Clips, right? What he did was he introduced a placard that has full width Velcro, okay? So that's positive number one. Positive number two is you can actually change the height. So if you are a guy who is a bigger guy and you wear a bigger plate carrier and you order a bigger uh, version of this, well, you can change this height so this placard will fit, right? So setting the height properly to work with the clips to fully cover the area to get the magazines at the right place for you. So if you're a smaller guy, obviously you tighten that up, blah, 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 blah. But that's thinking ahead. That's a huge positive, okay? And that's one thing Milan has always done very well, and that is because he's a shooter, you know, with, with real firearms and he trains a lot, that sort of thing, he does a lot of research into what the industry sort of needs or maybe would want out of his kit, and he incorporates that. And that's what you're seeing here. So that's a huge thumbs up. And literally, it's as simple as, like a D3 rig or any other sort of fast clip system, is you clip in, this, you clip in the clips, and you lock it down, we're good. I mean, we're, we're literally set to go, right? Now, the one addition I have made to this that isn't uh, something that comes with this placard is I'm using just some beaver teeth uh, by Beaver Tactical down in the States. It's pretty much just a Kydex insert that holds the mags better. When you buy the placard standard, it's just a nylon pouch uh, with some bungee retention. So again, just know that you're seeing a difference here. I've gone and added these. Uh, they're very similar to say, again, the Haley Strategic option when it comes to Kydex or sort of his is thermoplastic inserts. But I mean, there's, other, there's a lot of versions of these sort of Kydex inserts to help with retention of mags. These just so happen to be beaver tactical beaver teeth uh, out of California. And I'll randomly link all of this in the description below just so you don't get lost. But yeah, that's what you're seeing there. Now, again, going back to the back plate pocket, I'll show you the tear zip on panel. Now, while this isn't a review by any means of the tear zip on panel, I'll sort of half explain it. Uh, it's designed to be able to hold basically like say a med kit back here or whatever, but it's mainly for medical supplies. Uh, it attaches to the top portions of your pals via these two straps and you weave it in. For time's sake, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna zip this on. And it literally is as simple as zipping it on. If you're familiar with say like the cry zip on uh, accessories or whatnot, it literally works the exact same way. So let's uh, just quickly do that so you can see. There you go, we're literally done. It's now a back panel. Uh, it offers just a small GP pouch as well as a larger GP pouch here. It's literally, it's bare bones. It's just for extra storage uh, and whatnot. This top one does have some retention in the top here for say flashbangs. If you're a real world guy and actually have access to flashbangs or smaller smoke grenades, that's what that top pouch is for, for buddy access. 
Uh, and then, like I said, just a, a regular GP pouch at the bottom. And then on the inside, there's a uh, secret mesh, secret mesh compartment for say uh, medical supplies and whatnot. And in an emergency, a buddy could zip this panel off and access those medical supplies. But again, like I said, this is not standard by any means. And it required customizations to be able to be attached to the back of, uh, of the plate carrier itself. So again, we're all talking De Niro here, right? But again, if you're somebody that's looking for a very customized option, you might wanna look into something like this. So guys, there you have it. The Peraz Designs uh, low profile slick plate carrier. Now just the quick housekeeping stuff as per usual. Uh, you can find this in pretty much most of the colors and patterns known to man which is one of the, again, the also kind of cool things about Milan at Peraz Designs is that he understands that uh, guys are gonna want this in different variants and he stocks most of them. So uh, if you don't see something, reach out to him. He might even have it, it's not on the website, but you can pick it in pretty much any color you want. It is available, again, with modifications on his site at perazdesigns.com. I'll, of course, uh, post the link in the description below for your ease. It will run you. Uh, in its base form, again, none of these modifications, but in its base form, 250 uh, golden schmeckles, uh, or in my language, 250 Canadian dollars. Uh, so for you Americans, it's actually more like right now uh, with the current exchange rate, which is, I don't know what Canadian dollars is worth buttons right now. Uh, so about uh, 190 bucks, 200 bucks flat USD. Um, but for you Canadians, $250 uh, straight up. And like I said, you can find that in Peraz Designs. You can find it in pretty much any uh, color you'd like. There's a bunch of features you can select to it. So I mean, again, for you guys looking for a low profile option or one that has expandable features, uh, it's slick, it's designed well, it's uh, durable. I've worn this uh, quite a lot now, and it still looks almost brand new, which is kind of amazing, uh, even though I've taken it to the range a bunch of times. Um, so again, it's a great option. If you're looking for something that's a little bit different, uh, gives you some slick options, but gives you some room for modularity, well, look no further. The Peraz Designs Low Profile Slick Plate Carrier, the LPSPC. Find it on ParazDesigns.com. Hope you guys have liked it. Thanks. So there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this review of the Peraz Designs Low Profile Slick Plate Carrier. Uh, in terms of gameplay coming down the pipes, I've got plenty more Copperhead 2.5 footage to show you. And then like I said, I still have Op 34 and then Faded Giant 5 footage to show you as well. In terms of reviews, plenty more stuff coming down the pipes in terms of reviews. Like I said, I've been playing a lot of catch up after being absent this fall. So you guys are getting the deluge. Now, as always, I wanna take a quick second to thank my four most awesome sponsors being Anola Gay Tactical Smoke Grenades, Red Wolf Airsoft, Coyote Tactical Solutions, and Virtus Outdoor Group. Now these four companies provide me support in such a way to allow me to do more airsoft, but more importantly, bring you guys more gameplay, more reviews, and more philosophies to learn from and enjoy. So big thumbs up to these companies. If you guys could do me a favor, and that is visit their websites. I've got them linked in the description below. Now, whether you did or you didn't like this video, this guy still wants to know about it. Drop me a line in the comments below. I love the feedback and the conversation. If you could do me a huge solid, that is like, subscribe, and share with all your friends. Keeps me happening in this YouTube game. And until next time, keep having fun playing Airsoft, being good community members, defend what you love. Thanks, guys.